What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play. In the previous episode, we began uh, our adventure up through the snowy route. I believe this is Route 217 or something like that. Um, we also did catch the Drifloon outside of the Valley Windworks. Otherwise, we are here in the snowy route just fighting trainers and discussing some stuff. But if you guys are hyped for today's episode of the Brilliant Diamond Let's Play, make sure you hit that like button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and do a quick team recap because some things have changed since the previous episode. Uh, we got Shy, our Mew here at level 43, now holding the amulet coin because since uh, we're leading off with it, why not let it uh, take the free reign and just get us some extra money. Tim and Nature with Ancient Power, Flamethrower, Psychic, and Thunderbolt. We got Trident, our Manaphy here at level 48 with Tail Glow, Surf, Acid Armor, and Ice Beam. We got Shahaha, our Skunk Tank at level 49 with Night Slash, Flamethrower, Toxic, and Venom Shock. We got Join, our Torterra at level 50 with Crunch, Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, and Earthquake. We got Lisla, our Shiny Altaria at level 50 with Con Guard, Dragon Pulse, Hurricane, and Moon Blast. And then last but not least, we got Frisco, our Luxray at a level 50 with Thunder Wave, Spark, Light, and Volt Switch. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our team. So in the previous episode, I was just talking about, like, degrees and things like that that I myself think I would have, like, a strong suit in because I was talking about, like, like maturity once, like, you hit college and just having certain things uh, hit you a certain way. And I was basically saying how, like, today uh, I just kind of feel like I had something I should have done outside of, like, recording videos uh, this late at night because it's just something that I do. But, um... I was talking about, um... Like, when you have those days where you just kind of sit back and do nothing, it just, you feel a little bit odd because, it's like, I feel like I should be doing something, but I'm not. And it feels weird because, like, right now, I feel better having the fact that I have been recording videos today. Which is weird, because I felt really sour going into uh, the first episode we did in this session. But right now, I feel I feel a little bit more at ease, which is odd. Because it's like... It's not like it really did a whole bunch, but... I, I just feel better, I, and, that's, and that's a good thing. And also... Um... Okay, thank you. Uh, I just kind of want to point this out to people. Um, don't feel afraid to admit when you're not okay. Um, I feel like with me, like I feel like there's moments where I'm not okay a lot of the time, and I think that's just a combination of things. But also at the same time, I feel like I hold in emotions rather well um so i don't let i don't let things really bother me too much there are moments when i do feel like i complain about things for ages but there, it's not really like i feel like i don't let a lot of things like i don't let a lot of things like eat up a lot of my time and just kind of like sit there and ruin shit, essentially. Um, so, that's kind of the way that I look at it. But, I don't know, like, I was basically saying how, like, my Thanksgiving break is really come and gone super duper fast. Like, I'm really surprised that it has gone as quick as it has, because... Like, I just moved all my stuff out of my room on Monday, and it's like, bruh, it's it's already Thursday. Almost Friday. No, it is Friday. It's, no, it's Saturday. Almost Saturday. Sorry. See, that's my point, though, right there. Like, I feel like these days have just 
gone me gone by so freaking fast. Gave me an ice cold plate. Thank you. I wonder how many plates we actually have. I mean, it's not like we'll be able to catch RC. I don't think we will, anyways. I mean, we don't have to worry because once home is released, I already had one in there, so. But yeah, but basically, um, just don't be afraid to admit when you're not okay. Like, always, always talk to somebody. Um, that's something that I've learned, uh, to really cherish a lot, because I know a lot of people, uh, feel like they can go into life on their own, and you really can't. Um, you can try, but you can't go your entire life just doing things on your own. Um, like, that's literally something that you learn from birth, like, you have to rely on your parents to survive, and you always kind of, like, you always need to have somebody there, like, it's always good to have someone that you can go to to talk to about things when things go wrong, and that's kind of uh, tying back into what we were talking about at the end of the last episode. Um, one of the things with what I do with my degree, uh, since I am going into the teaching route, uh, and, uh, like, being a coach in sports, it's important for the people that I come across with, the kids and parents and other coaches, uh, like, have that outlet, that person that they can go to talk about. Stuff because I always feel like, not that my opinion is like the greatest out there, but I always feel like I try to give help when I can, and I feel like there's moments like when people ask for help, like I value that so much more than um, people who just kind of are like, no, I don't need your help because you don't know what I'm going through. And I know that, that with that mindset, like, sometimes it's like, yeah, it's true, I don't know what you're going through, but sometimes an outside person hearing the scenario hears it in a way that they understand it better than the person who's actually in said scenario. And that's, a, that's the case with, um, like, relationships and things like that. I know... A bunch of people who, have, who I've had to talk to, whether in high school or in college, who have come and talked to me about uh, like situations they're in, and they're like, I don't know what to do, and it's like, you tell them a response, and they don't like the response, and that's because they aren't willing to let it go yet. No matter the fact that it hurts them as much as it does, they're not ready to let that thing go because they can't imagine what life is going to be like without said thing. And the reality of it is, is that it's going to hurt, but it's also going to hurt a lot less than you sitting there and constantly just being in pain and not feeling happy and not just having all these problems. Like, if I was in a situation where I wasn't happy in my relationship, I, I would bring something up about it. And if that turns out to be a bigger problem between me and said person, then, oh well, that's that's too bad. I'm glad to see that you don't prioritize a concern that I have with something. You're just, you're just proving that you're not who you say you are. This music sounds really ominous, despite being pretty cool. The thing is, um, this is probably, this is probably my favorite town in the entirety of Sinnoh. Like, I remember first coming here when I was a kid. Like, I told the story way back, uh, I told the story earlier on in the series, and I've told it multiple times before, I think, when I played through Gen 4. But, 
Um, once I actually like figured out how to get past the Psyducks, like I came here and I remember getting here and I was like in awe. And it's always, it's, it's always just gonna kind of be that thing in my head for probably the rest of my life. Cause it's like, I was a dumb kid. So like, I didn't know where to go for the longest period of time. Gave me stickers for an outfit. Interesting. I feel like I should pick a different outfit. Hello, do you know what Trendy is saying? What, you, you just read my mind, didn't you? Why do I feel like he... I thought, why do I feel like he's prompted to say that, no matter what? There's no point in Temple. Yeah, I'm not going in there. I don't think I'm allowed to. Whoa, 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 what are you doing here? I love how my girl has variety and charm. Do you have a chance to call a uh, Pokemon called Nightcamp? I do not. For those of you who don't know who that is, um, you might think that that's a, a nice trade. Um, for those of you who do know that who that is, I fear that a lot of keyboards just got smashed. Because <laughs> they know exactly who it is. Um, Anyways, let's see. I'm gonna buy more quick balls because we're literally rolling in cash right now. Um, so like, there's literally no reason for me not to do that. I've contemplated buying uh, a new outfit. Uh, a new outfit. Uh, I kind of wanted to rock with the platinum style just because of the fact that uh, it's different from the. Typical, generic, uh, style that we usually see. I need to hatch this egg at some point. Because it's... Yeah, it's not close to hatching. But I don't have, like... I don't have a fire type to make it hatch faster, so... I'll have to... Probably have to do that sometime tomorrow. Anyways. So... We're here in Candace's gym. Now, I have seen videos uh, on Twitter, on TikTok, of there being many, many glitches in this game. And I heard that there's like a glitch um, in this gym where you don't even need to basically do the puzzle to call up and challenge her. I'm not gonna bother with it, mainly because I think it's smarter for me to fight everybody anyway, because it's kind of like what I was saying when we went into Fantina's gym. This is XP that we're not going to ever get again, so it's, just, it's basically just free XP just lying around. So why not just... Why not go ahead and just scoop it up while we can? It, like, that makes sense, right? Like, why would you just... Why would you just leave it there uh, for for free? But basically, I'll fight you. Um, I don't know how much different the puzzle is, or if the puzzle is any different at all. I know you don't actually need to clear out all of the snowballs. You just need to clear out all the ones that are in the middle. So it. You need a guide on how to just clear out all the snowballs. Just clear out all the ones in the middle. You don't need to clear out all of them, so there you go. Tentacru Why is the tentacruel in this gym? This is not an ice type. I am, am a bit confused by such such a thing. 
Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna say clear body blocks intimidate, but no, that makes that yeah, that makes perfect sense. Is that that's always worked. <laughs> that's always worked. I I think it's just like inner focus. Like inner focus was one. I don't remember what the other ability was. That I think changed that in Gen Eight. I think that's. I think that's what the the thing is. But yeah, like you don't have to clear out all the snowballs. You just need to clear out the ones in the middle. So like this one you need to clear. I don't think I'm gonna hit. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit that one. Okay. Um, how am I, how am I able to do this one? Not like that. Okay. Oh no, I think I might have it figured out. Let me see. Never mind. I don't. How do I... I feel like I'm messing this up a lot. Maybe go this way. I clear out that one, yes. Oh, wait, hold on. There's another one. There's another one I can do. Go here, here, here. I can fight you. Actually, I shouldn't have fought you. I should have went and stayed on the right side on the upper part of that. It's alright though, she's got a snowbird. This is gonna be an easy one hit KO. An easy one hit KO. But you wanna know something I actually found out? So I, was, I took a sneak peek at one of the people I watched on YouTube, uh, and they were doing a randomizer of these games, which, you know, no bashing to them, but like, I don't know, I, I feel like I would just stick to playing the games normally for a little bit before doing a randomizer of them, but, you know, tweet your own. Um, but, like, they, they had a, I think they had a Riolu, and they randomized, like, the abilities and things like that, and Intrepid, I think that's how you say it, whatever Zossie's ability is, is in the game, which makes me think that there is a very small chance that every single Pokemon might actually be in this game. It's a very small chance, though. Um, I say that because with Home not being out yet, uh, we, can't, we can't prove that until Home comes out, and Home's not coming out until February, so... That's basically, that's basically gonna get proven then, and even then, we gotta get through all the Legend of Arceus stuff, which, that's gonna be interesting in its own right, because I wanna see what Legends of Arceus is gonna bring to the table uh, when that game drops in January. Which, it still surprises me that that game is dropping in January. And we, like, and we literally just got... We literally just got these games. I don't know. I don't know, it's, it's kind of... It's kind of weird that they did that, but you know... Maybe, maybe there's, maybe Game Freak, well, not even Game Freak, maybe Nintendo was smart by doing that because of how the remakes for these were going to be. I don't know. Because I don't think the remakes are bad. Like, I like the fact that we got 3D 
uh, Generation 4. I like some of the features that we got, like the changing of clothes and uh, the character customization uh, and not necessarily being completely white, for lack of a better term. I like some of the little features that they have. Uh, I can get, I can understand some people being upset with the fact that it's a little bit boring, because it's just sticking as loosely as they can to... It's uh, sticking as loosely as they can to... Uh, the original games, which, when you think about it, it's like, it's a remake of a game, so... Uh, I know somebody was saying, like, this remake feels more like a remaster of a game, which... I agree... to an extent. Because I don't know what the after game is gonna hold. Because the after game is definitely different when it comes to the legendaries. So, I'm looking forward to that and seeing how that goes. But outside of that, I'm not quite sure. Um, I mean, the after game. I mean, the after game should be fun. Like, kind of getting to experience how things are going to be is going to be interesting. Because uh, I really don't know what to expect. I've been trying to keep much of this game as spoiler-free as possible, and I want to say I've been doing a pretty good job with that. Um, there have been moments where I have seen things that I probably didn't want to see. How can I get to that spot? Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Now... Well, let's see. Where does this take me? It takes me here. Do I want to be here? I feel like I don't. No, I don't. I want to hit this spot. And walk on this tile, hit this one. Boom. And bam. There we go, we got it. And we got plenty of time to take her on. So even if Candace uh, kind of beats us up a little bit, we should be able to... We should be able to have a, a nice 30-minute episode. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save my game. Wow, we've actually played over 24 hours of in-game time. That is... that's something else. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing. I was waiting for someone to... Uh, but I should tell you, I'm tough because I know what focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance. It's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose. All right, Candace. Just gotta snow her. Go ahead and set up that snow warning. Shy really wants to spend some time playing with you. I mean, I'll. I'm trying. Sneasel. Um, I should just stay in. I just realized how bad Ice and Dark is on my team. Because I have two monsters that are quad weak to Ice. I have Mew who's weak to Dark. I don't have a good fire type or fighting type. Rock, bug. I don't have a lot to take out a Weavile, which is kind of 
kind of leaning me towards using a Lucario uh, a bit more. Medicam, why are you... why? That, that just... that right there... will never make sense to me, like... Why would you... Why would you give them a Pokémon that isn't a part of their gym? Because it's not like this is an all-around gym. She's strictly an ice type trainer, so... I feel like I feel like it just doesn't make sense if you ask me, but what do I know? I don't know much about game development. Alright, Bomba Snow. Flamethrower. This should one shot, I would assume. It's quite effective. And it does. Ladies and gentlemen, we have beaten the Obama Snow. I must say, I warmed up to you. I might even admire you a little. Wow, you're great. You've earned my respect. I think your focus and will bold this over totally. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to give you this. That's seven gym badges down. I'm almost done with this game, which is surprising. Like, I mean, what? This is episode 31? Because you have it, you can use the hidden move rock line from Poke Edge. Oh, and take these two. Nice. We got stickers. We got the TM72, which that is for Avalanche. Yes. So it takes damage, the moves power is doubled. Can you imagine the sort of focus you need to pull that off? No! Couldn't, couldn't imagine that at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and heal up real quick, and I guess I could do the Lake Acuity... Uh, cutscene? And then in the next episode, we can sort of... I don't want to say goof around, because goof around doesn't necessarily feel like the right, right thing to say, but I can sort of goof around a little bit and explore now using Rock Climb, because there is uh, new areas that we can explore due to us having Rock Climb. I don't have a Repel Spray, and I swear to God. Sneasel. Killing. I'm gonna go ahead and run. Come on. Alrighty. Ah! You're not getting away with this, Team Galactic. Oh, are you finished already? Your Pokemon aren't bad, but you're laughably weak. You honestly thought you could save the Pokemon of the lake and became or and become the Pokemon champion? Dream on, little kid. The eel is so cold here. Let's go back to the Veilstone HQ. Oh, don't I know you? We met in Eterna City. Listen, Team Galactic is going to do something huge for everyone's sake. That's why you should keep out of Team Galactic's way. Don't come whining about poor Pokemon or other trivi trivial junk like that. Don't waste your time coming to our HQ in Veilstone now if you'll excuse me. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't do anything against Team Galactic. That Pokemon called Yuxi. It was suffering. I'm going to get tougher. It's not about winning or losing. That's not good enough. I have to be stronger. He's on something we know. But, uh, because we do have the ability to rock climb now... Where do I want to go? What am I thinking in particular? Where do, it has a rock climb. I mean, we can. I mean, there's something in Veilstone, right? Don't think there's anything there. Actually, I feel like I should stay in this general area because I do want to go back and explore that 
rock climbing area that's over and route 216. So that's what we're going to do in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play, make sure you hit that like button down below because we would greatly appreciate it. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well because I would very much appreciate that too. And why not follow my other socials like my Twitter or my TikTok in the description below. Uh, would just be a kind gesture if you guys could do that. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Have yourselves a great day. Peace.